Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. This is a, a garden uh, update. A lot of people, oh not a lot, I've had some people uh, commenting, you know, I should have fruit trees. And I keep forgetting to do videos on this, uh, but I have, um, uh, I have a couple apple trees on my property that were on here when I moved here. And uh, this one I'm gonna show you, I did no work. Uh, I've never sprayed it, I've done nothing. It's completely surrounded in trees. It's right along my driveway. And uh, it produced a bunch of apples, which I'll show you later in another video in the house. We already picked them. Uh, but uh, I'm going to take you up there and I'm going to show you who's discovered the uh, apples that fell to the ground. <laughs> they are uh, pecking away at. Uh, the rotten apples on the ground. But this is the apple tree right here and there's still up there, there's still some apples but I can't get up there. I've tried everything. I even put my uh, cube van here and on a ladder on top of it and I just can't get it. But this tree uh, started out and I remember I moved in here in 1995 it, or 1994. It was, uh, no 95. 1975, uh, this was a little uh, hedge that I actually ran over a couple times with a lawnmower and uh, it's grown into this apple tree that's this uh, fall I'm taking out some trees around it now I'm going to give it some uh, serious sun because it's producing uh, a good whack of apples and they're free and I don't have to grow the tree so I'm going to show you the tree though that I've been focusing on the last uh, three years trying to get it to produce fruit We'll go to that tree, but that uh, and the ducks, they love the apples. They peck away at them. Now we'll head over to the other tree. Okay, so now uh, we're heading over here. As you can see, the garden's right there. And I had this apple tree. Now this apple tree, when I moved in here in 1995, I'm pretty sure it's 95. Um, it had apples like crazy on. The raccoons used to come in here. Everything used to come in here and get their, uh, the apples. And then I let it go. I never paid attention to it. And uh, the last three years, I have been pruning it back. I spray it in the spring. Uh, I do the, the oil. I, I hit cut around it. And in three years, it's produced for me. I have gotten myself three apples off of it. And uh, they're perfect cooking apples. They've got a nice bitter or uh, uh, um, uh, sour taste to them. Uh, they, they're, and they're really rock hard. They're really nice. Uh, Kind of that kind of apple but uh, I can't get this tree to produce uh, I'm gonna keep working on it but the one uh, in the driveway is the one that uh, uh, I'm gonna seriously put some effort into I'm gonna, like I said I'm gonna cut the trees around it and uh, get it some sun and uh, next year I'll spray it and I'll keep working on this one because I love free apples so and we'll go into the house and I'll show you uh, what we got for free apples this year Okay, so we got uh, 50 liters, roughly, of apples off that tree. Total bonus, did not count on. And uh, these apples came from an apple tree down the road uh, in our ditch. There's apple trees. Uh, we have an orchard on this uh, uh, road I live on, and the, I guess it's over the years, the squirrels and that. They've uh, scattered apples all over the place. Um, and uh, that is a public apple tree in the ditch uh, from that orchard. And uh, they're free apples if you can get there before all the other vultures get there like myself. So... That's what I got. And we're going to uh, process these up and put them in Ziploc bags and we'll have apples to uh, make, uh, uh, you know, whatever apple thing we want to make in the middle of the winter. So that's a bonus because I didn't count on it this year.